Okay everybody, welcome to your 19th Android application development tutorial. My name is Mehul and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you a real quick thing which I guess I missed when I was doing event listeners so I should have probably done that at that time only but uh, here we go. So what I'm gonna tell you about is that there's something known as is an on long click listener. Now yes we did on click listener earlier and uh, just make some space for myself and get rid of this code and remove the redundant imports as well and this one too so we have this button right and let me just quickly get that in my code so I'm gonna say my button first button is null and then I'm gonna say first button is find view by ID uh, dot ID like that and make sure you import that button module then you have to obviously cast it to button otherwise it'll give you some errors and say first button dot set on long click listener right so what it's gonna do is it's gonna pretty much do listen for longer clicks right so like if you are holding something for a second or two so on click what it does is that it just listens for any click so why I wanted to tell you about this is the reason we would make use of the public boolean here as well just like we made use in the on touch so this example would pretty much demonstrate how this return false differs from returns true so now let me just set up my emulator as well Gany motion and uh, let's just do some other stuff so I'm gonna say first button dot set on click listener as well so yes I am adding a click and an on click both listeners right so I'm gonna say this is my on click listener and uh, let me just fire off the emulator first and here what I'm gonna say is that let's just say here I am create creating some text view with wrap content and Android text idle and Android ID of let's just say my text and right here I'm gonna say text view is equal to or actually text view my text is text view and then I'm gonna say find view by ID r dot ID then I'm gonna say my text view dot set text I am being clicked right and I'm gonna say the same thing right here I'm being clicked long so it's just gonna say me null pointer exception but let's just ignore that for this application because you have to probably just move it out of this click listeners you know so it's just gonna show you that don't worry about that so let's just minimum SDK is greater than device SDK wait a minute when did that happen um, let's just make it to 16 only and just synchronize your version so that it doesn't affect your application and it's just synchronizing so I'm just gonna discuss about this file later on when we are you know pretty much done with Android then we are gonna look at what this file is all about it's pretty cool actually so okay so now looks like the synchronization is done uh, let's just run it again <coughs> and uh, here I am using Nexus 4 because I don't know somehow applications were running very slow on Gany Motion. I don't know I have virtualization enabled and I have got 16 GBs of RAM, graphic card, everything, but still getting motion runs slow. 
anyways for my application I actually use a real device so I just tried any motion for first time so it didn't kind of work so now you can see the status is idle for now and see if I click a short button it says me I am being clicked right and uh, <clears throat> right now you can see that it says me to return false right so if I hold this button you see that I am being long appears and see the moment I release my mouse click you see that I'm being clicked is fired as well <clears throat> right so what is happening is that first of all when I am clicking this for long Android does give this event right here it informs that hey something some button is being long click which you want to know about and uh, this code says yeah okay so I'm just gonna set my text to I am being long and then with this return false says that this even says to Android well I have done what I want whatever I wanted to do and pretty much I don't want to handle this anymore so you are free to go and ask anybody else if they want to handle this click or not so if you return false it just says to Android like you know I'm not in charge of this event anymore so just go ahead and ask somebody else if it wants to fire some else code some code block or not so if I return true here instead of false what would happen is that this code would take control of that particular event so now what would happen is that Android would say this code would say to Android like I have pretty much handled this event so I don't want you Android to go to any other event to look for a click or a similar event which might fire another code block so return true kind of absorbs the event it kind of you know consumes the event that it says to Android like I have handled this shit so um, you know you get the idea so if I run this and click on this button right so you see I am being long and if I release this you see that the text doesn't change to I am I am being clicked right so what is happening is that I am being longed is actually returning true now to Android and that is the reason that uh, Android just comes over to this code only and doesn't go for the on click listener which it usually do when the button the touch on the button is released but obviously on click would work for small clicks as usual so that is all for this tutorial and uh, the similar things happens with on touch as well if you just start creating events with which might conflict with on touch like on click on touch also has its action up motion even dot action up so that might create a conflict so in that case you could also test this return true return false but I found the set on click listener to be kind of simple to understand and uh, yeah so that's it pretty much for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching